call this a random theory uh, or just a fictional story if you will once upon a time there were many nations many empires ruled by kings and queens of many different sorts of titles you know you had Tsar, Khazars, and you had uh, <laughs> Khans, and so on and so forth, Emperor, and King, and all this other sort of stuff, right? And they lived in these big castles, and they fought wars against each other, and And then, you know, over the years, sometimes they started to notice how they were having trouble dealing with their population. Because you see the kings and emperors would ride out on their horses and armor and along with their armies sometimes. And they would fight in battles and sometimes the royals and their families would lose people in battle and, and, and they would, they would uh, have to put so much of their their funds in, in to waging these wars against each other and ultimately they were depleting their, their own power and, and just no one could dominate all the others you know and you know they had enough trouble controlling their own populations and their own their own territorial lands you know because uh, the people maybe weren't happy about being robbed about their food being stolen and their land being stolen and their money being demanded from them constantly and their labor and so on and so forth being taxed and, and beaten and people didn't like that right and if enough of them rose up well, you know, then, you know, there were times in history when some kings and queens got taken to the guillotine, you know. Well, or they got captured, put on trial, etc., you know. And then one day, these kings and queens, these emperors, these czars, these khans, and so on and so forth, by so many other names, one day, they sent envoys and communiques back and forth and they began to form alliances as they had worked together in opening up trade routes and trade was essential and so they got to know each other and they began to talk about things and talk about their problems so one day they get together in this room this Hall of Kings and they started to come up with a plan a plan that would take possibly even centuries to achieve a way by which they could not only maintain power over their own territories but become more vastly wealthy and powerful than they ever had been before. A way that would ensure that no threat to their dominance could ever rise up against them again because no one would even know who they were or that they even existed. 
to these kings, these rulers, came up with a concept of governance and religion and the illusion of choice, rights, freedom. Right? <laughs> you see, they will hold on to the real end, and obviously there were other parts of their group that, I mean, they had all the most brilliant minds in the world, paid heavily in gold and silver to come up with brilliant strategies. For instance, uh, the idea of fiat currency, you know, uh, sort of like let them eat cake, you know. <laughs> food, entertainment, you know, keep them fat and entertained and they'll never revolt, you know. So they took everything of real value, control of everything of real value. And they gained, you know, they, they eliminated the difficulties of, of maintaining, uh, you know, slaves and indentured servants by telling them that they would be free. by paying them with slips of paper. Or you know, whatever other things worked at the time. Over the centuries, their plans passed down from generation to generation to generation, became more and more refined. Wars were fought eventually in order to mostly to bring about the illusion of their downfall. Because if they were not ruling then, you know, couldn't be them, couldn't be them, it couldn't be that kings, queens, and emperors, and cons, and so on, because their empires fell long ago, didn't you know? So no, if you ever want to if the people ever decide that they want to try to rise up and revolt, well, that's easy enough to control. I mean, imagine a, a whole nation of people rising up in anger, pitchforks, torches in hand, ready to tar and feather their leaders, not knowing who it is that leads them. So revolt becomes impossible because you don't even know who the king is. You don't know who is, you know, barons and dukes and knights and so on and so forth even are. You don't even know that they exist. You think that some actor on a television screen is the one to blame and that's what they're there for. Like face man, you know? It's a fucking illusion, man. It's an illusion. And maybe even what I'm saying is is totally fictitious, but hey.
Where's all that money come from? He's got all that gold and silver and rubies and diamonds. Who had the ability to command so many to pluck that shit out of the ground and 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 melt it down and smelt it for him and stack it in their fucking vaults where they could walk around and sit on thrones of gold and <laughs> so what throne do you sit on? <laughs> Be it porcelain or plastic? You sit on a pot full of shit while they sit on the stones of the prophets laid their heads on. <laughs> They sit on gold and drink out of silver and goblets, eat their fine meals off of golden plates. Do you think that they're eating chemicals and genetically modified foods? Do you think they're going to eat bug sandwiches or 3D printed food? <laughs> you think they find paper valuable? Is there any other thing with to wipe their ass on as a tool to Buy you and me and everybody else to buy all of our land and our gold and our children's 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 future to buy our children to buy us like they buy cattle Hmm. Well, this has been another magical fairy tale from the land of Nod, right? Or is it? I don't know. You know what? I I I I'm sure I'm probably wrong. I'm sure that all those, you know ancestrally, you know, uh, kingdoms that were passed down from generation to generation through specific bloodlines for centuries or set over centuries and centuries and centuries that conquered vast swaths of the globe and sacked and looted all the wealth and treasure and lands of the planet. I'm sure that they all just were toppled over in one day. The free people rose up and and we all just decided that we were going to protect our freedom and be led by 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 electing leaders to tell us what to do. And our glorious leaders, we decided that that they should pay us pieces of paper you know as opposed to lands and gold and so on I'm sure that that's what our ancestors decided certainly couldn't be people got fucking conned and tricked and bamboozled and to this day have become 
more dumbed down than or you know I mean it couldn't be that centuries ago our ancestors were way fucking smarter than we're made to believe and even some of the ones that even ones that maybe they allegedly couldn't read and write maybe but uh maybe they had a lot more common sense and a lot more comprehension of what's how the world really works because they used to live in a world that was more real now we live in a world of plastic and wires and concrete and tires and bountiful liars were bought and sold with pieces of paper wars are fought with words nations and peoples are bought with ink <laughs> Awake, shake dreams from your hair, my pretty child, my sweet one. Choose the day and choose the sign of your day, the day's divinity, right? Just saying, right? Could be. Do you see what I see? Can you see what I see? It's like dun 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 dun. <laughs> Sucking <an> empire. <clears throat> and then you look at all these like, but clearly there was something else like that came before these these. I mean, because it really doesn't make a lot of sense to me why they want to wipe out so much of the history that as much as they have. It seems to me that they had the dominance already. So there must have been something that came in. I mean, I, like I said, that was just me running along a theory or perhaps say a story. But then there's a lot of other things. There's other things to consider. You look at, um, for instance, the ancient architecture and things like that, and archaeological finds, and you see a lot of things that don't make a lot of sense. You know, we're expected to believe that people with horses and buggies riding over <laughs> mud roads. <clears throat> carried many, 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 many tons of massive stones all over the the country, all over the world to to carve them out by hand and build these structures that we couldn't even replicate today with modern equipment on paved roads. And <laughs> so it seems like there was some sort of way more advanced civilization here that came before even those empires and those empires that became the rulers of this world. <sighs> seems like they in they started out sort of archaic if, if we're supposed to believe anything about history about the tech you know military technologies and so on that we're supposed to because everything could be absolute bullshit for that matter though but <clears throat> I wonder what happened to the ones that built the world 
the real builders, the real architects, you know. ones who built all these giant temples and giant so-called church buildings, all, you know, all these massive megalithic structures that people, you know, can't even hardly reproduce today with modern equipment, you know. like stories of giants and things like that and all these old buildings you know super gigantic structures have these huge doorways you know 20 30 or more foot tall doors you know and you can tell that somebody's just like well we're just gonna like seal that up and put a little door in it so that you can <laughs> It's all over the place, man. It's so obvious that there was something... I mean, something fucking happened. But then again, you know... Maybe all we ever see or seems but a dream within a dream. You know? It's all just a big joke, you know? Some sort of a matrix simulation type of deal. Like a... Which at this point is becoming more like a... Twisted hellscape, you know? Mind fucking gaslighting... Like just soul sucking bullshit, you know? It's sad that, like, humanity has drifted so far from freedom and so far from the voice of their own souls that they can't even imagine in their wildest dreams the very concept of what freedom would even look like, you know? Or that people ever could have lived free Oh well. Well, there's my rant. Alright then. Have a good... In case I don't see ya. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.